Hi, for this video what I'm going to do is show you how to find a z-score that corresponds to a given area under a normal curve um, using the TI Inspire. So for this one what we want to do is we want to um, start with a calculator screen. Uh, you can start a new one. I, I knew that this was new for me so I'm just starting with a calculator. Okay, um, after we open the calculator screen we're going to go to menu and statistics, so menu statistics, and we're going to go to distributions. Um, in previous videos or in other videos we would use normal CDF and normal CDF is used if you know um, the z-score or if you know the x value and you are trying to find the area. For this one we know the area and we want to find the z-score so we're going to do what is called the inverse normal so it's the opposite, it does the opposite of what we've been doing. Um, for this, it asks for three things, the area, the mean, and the standard deviation. So for the area, as long as it's to the left of this value, um, so like the, for the first one, because it says to the left, this calculator automatically defaults to the left, so it only finds the area to the left. Um, so I would type in the area to the left, the 1.1562. And I would leave the 0 and the 1 because I'm looking for a z-score. And remember, the z-score is the standard normal. And then I hit Enter. So for this, just in case you can't really see, what we were typing in is we typed in the inverse norm was what we selected. Um, and then we typed in the area 0.1562, the 0 and the 1. And the 0 and the 1 is the mean and the standard deviation of the standard normal model and we end up with approximately negative 1.0102. Um, typically with a z-score, uh, they only want two decimal places, so we would just round it to negative 1.01, but the advantage to using technology over the table is that you can get more decimal places in technology than you could in the table. Okay. Um, for this, like I said, it defaults to the left. It only finds the area to the left. So if you are given the area to the right, um, in the TI Inspire, you must first find the area to the left by doing 1 minus the given area. So I would have to do um, 1 minus 0.1762. So this is area to right just so you know where that came from. So if it's shaded to the right and asks for the area, you would have to do this first before going to the inverse norm. Um, so this gives us 0.8238. Sorry, I forgot the two. So we would do 8238 if we subtracted 1 minus 0.1762. So you could just plug that into your calculator before you went to there. I already had it done on paper. Um, so then we would select menu, option 6, statistics, and then option 5, distributions, and again option 3, the inverse norm. We would type in the area to the left. You cannot put in the area to the right. If you put in the area to the right, it's going to give you a negative z-score. You could just change it to the opposite sign because we know it has to be positive since it's um, less than 50% to the right. Okay, and for this we end up with... Uh, so the z-score ends up being approximately 0.9299 uh, is what the calculator gives us, the 44. So we would just round this to two decimal places and we would say that this is approximately um, 9, 0.93. So an area that's shaded 17.62% to the right of it um, corresponds to a z-score of 0.93. And then the last one in order to find the in-between, we have to know that the area to the left, the unshaded area, um, is equal to the area to the right of the z-score, of the positive z-score. So the area to the left equals the area to the right. So because those are equal to each other, we know that looking at this, that since we have 100% of the area has to be contained under here, and 86 is in between, um, we know that 14% has to be divided between these two tails. And since they are equal to each other, we could say that the area to the left of our negative z-score
is going to be half of the 14%, which equals 7%. And then remember that when we're plugging this into our calculator, um, we would have to convert it to a decimal, so we would do the inverse norm. And then we would do 0 0.07 as our area, 0, 1, and that's what we would plug into our calculator. So again, to get there, it's menu, option 6, statistics, option 5, distributions, and then option 3, the inverse norm, and we would just type in the 0 0.07 for the area. And this will give us the negative z-score. Um, since it's looking for both the negative and the positive, um, we would just write down both of them. Okay, so this one gives us approximately negative 1.47579. And so if it asks for both z-scores, um, we would say that z is equal to negative 1.48 if I round, and positive 1.48. So those would be the two z-scores that represent the area of 86% in between. Um, make sure that if you want to know how to use a table, check out my video that shows you how to find the area, the z-scores given the area with the z-table. Um, you can also find this in the TI-84 and I have a calculator video for that as well. As always, thanks for watching.